My name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of living and non-living things. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 4. James wanted to carry out an experiment using a plant on day 1, he placed the plant in a box as shown in this diagram and then on day 30, he said that the direction of the stem of the same plant had changed as shown below. So they said, based on this experiment, which of the following characteristics of living things does this change show us? So to answer this question, let's take a look at the experiment. On day 1, at first, you can see the plant was growing upright. But then on day 30, they said the direction of the stem had changed. In fact, this time, where do you notice the plant is growing towards? You can see the plant is growing towards the hole in the box. And what do you think it's trying to grow towards? It's actually growing towards the sun. So let's write this out. From day 30, we can see that the plant, it grew towards the sun. Now think about this, if the sun was not there and the plant cannot receive the sunlight through the hole in the box, do you think the plant will start growing towards the sun? No. So when it grew towards the sun, what characteristic of living things does it show us? It shows us that living things respond to what? To changes, what's the keyword? Around them. So let's write this out. When it grew towards the sun, that was its response. And the change over here is actually the presence of the sun. So with this understanding, we are ready to take a look at the statements. Now, statement A says that living things are able to grow. Now, is that shown in this experiment? Yes. In fact, we said that the plant grew towards the sun. So A is definitely correct. Next, what about B? Does this experiment show us that living things reproduce? To answer this, we must first understand what reproduce means. When the plant reproduces, this means now there is going to be more or less of the organism. There is going to be more. So from the experiment, did we see an increase in the number of plants? No, which means does this experiment show us living things reproduce? Definitely not. So let's cross out B. Next, what about C? They said that living things need air and water in order to survive. Now, we all know this is true for all living things, but based on this experiment, did they give the plant water? No. So are we able to tell from this experiment that living things need air and water to survive? No. So this one we can also cross out. And lastly, what about for D? They say living things respond to the changes around them. Is this shown in the experiment above? Yes, that's what we said earlier. We can see that when the sun was there, the plant started to grow towards the sun. So this shows us that living things respond to changes around them, which means what's the correct answer? The correct answer has to be A and D only, which is option two. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!